way to do it. So I think it plays right into what you expected. Still a yep. Gauntlet's legend. Wu Shang has been bodying everybody all day. We just saw Spyrox finally go down, but this is going to be a good answer to the double Taros because they have, anytime they get a hit confirmed, it's yep. straight to orange and red. Like they, they they do not let you get away. I mean, look at look at how much damage Travelski has oh already taken. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And this is what's going to tell us, you know, Pretty much off the beginning here, which team is going to be able to maintain control and flow of this battle? And again, I talked about it. Pavelski on the gauntlet should provide a very strong advantage. But mm -hmm. I mean, they're, they're not giving Pavelski any room to even form any sort of combo here. Yeah, if anything, Pavelski's target number one. It's like, uh, deal with him. Uh, anytime Blasters is out, Braz is going to be annoying, but we'll just smack him away a bit and then double up once again. The neutral lights are going to actually take Pavelski off the oh. side. The weapon toss is going to take out Hi uh, Heisen. I keep... Man, I'm going to get these new teams down. I'm going to get them down. <laughs> <laughs> Heisen and Pavelski on the blue. Delta TM on the red. I feel your pain, though, Ajax. <laughs> Trust me, it's been tough. Thank goodness, though, we're getting phenomenal gameplay, regardless yes. of who's playing with who. And the red team at a pretty strong lead right now. Ooh, Pavelski getting jazzy on the spear, though. Loving to see that come out. Oh! Ooh. Sarah into GCD Sig? That, dude, that is such high tech because the GCD Sig on Heisen. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Forget what I'm saying. Double grab out Delta makes Heisen pay and loses the stock early. And just like that, we are now at four stocks to three stocks. I think for Pavelski and Heisen, they kind of just need to take this first game as data because, I mean, they, they can make a comeback, but TM and Delta are still running hot off of that reverse 3-0. And yeah. you can see they're still, they still look incredible right now. It took forever to actually take out the stock on Delta in the first place. And Pavelski is is in a very, a very, very scary spot, but it wouldn't be, it, it would be not on Pavelski S to go deep off stage to get a really early gimp on one of them on this next stock. So you also have to be careful with that. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's kind of crazy. They actually came back so quickly. Wait. Here, big combo. GC back into it. it. Boom. Just like that. This thing's tied back up. Pavelski and Heisen have entered their flow state, and the combos are rolling out. Absolutely not. You have to control center stage. Stay far away from Pavelski yep. while he's hanging yep. out over there. Yep. And Heisen, these these gauntlets have been working, excuse me, these blasters have been working so good to line up for the gauntlets, but also just as an interruption tool. They have been able to get a team combo on Pavelski in a little while now. Yep, and look, look at the difference though. Look how much space Pavelski finally has. Delta is focusing all their time and energy on Heisen, mm -hmm. which is leaving Pavelski in a 1v1 that is confirming so much more damage here. Huge damage, speaking Ooh. of that, comes out on Heisen. And Heisen is able to recover, and it is all going to come down to the last hit right Whoa. here. Heisen off the edge. Pavelski looking at it back. Whoa, a hammer from heaven. Knocking it out, and it is now a 2v1. Pavelski trying to come in. He has the ability to close it out on a recovery if he catches a mistake on one of them. Just coming in, looking for a straight-up recovery right there. You have to watch out as well. Oh, there we go. Pavelski gets my. him. My... Goodness. 1v1 situation. Pavelski Delta. Who messes up first? Who gets the stop there? Who gets the sideline and gets the reader to recovery? Pavelski has stage position right now. Oh, and he gets it again! Pavelski you. is insane and oh. gets the W. I was sitting there worried that they're about to get stopped. They were oh. getting bodied at the start, but the blue team was able to bring it back together and shut it down. Man, it's just looking at these replays, the follow up from the D Light Sarah to GC NSIG, and then Pavelski, not with one GC D Light recovery, but two GC D Light recoveries when the advantage was far away from him. And, it, you know, pretty much every 2v1 we've seen here. There's pretty much not a chance whatsoever for anyone to come back, but again and again and again, the best of the best in this region show exactly why they and, are the best of the best. And this Barraza has really been showing why it came out here in the double Taros. We saw that it was mostly Axe to start, so we didn't really get to see the interruptions happen. But what happened in those last two stocks, Rain? The combos were there, they lined yep. up for Pavelski, and yep. they saved Pavelski a bunch, yep. which is going to frustrate the red team because they can't get anything started. Yep, and you know, I, I don't want to be that guy, but I'm going to toot my own horn a little bit here. The Pavelski Gauntlets have 100% been the difference in this mm -hmm. matchup going against the Double Taros. They don't have an answer for it unless they're playing stacked on top of Pavelski. Oh, and the D-Sig on the Gauntlets is going to take out one. They have an opportunity to close out another. Pavelski going deep. Heisen just missing out. 
Wow, great recovery right there from oh, Lebelski. This could be huge. Oh, oh what? TM, you what? chose wrong. What? You, you chose wrong. Look at Del I love Delta, bro. You see that Delta said no. No, 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 said, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm going to go over here. Yeah, that, I, that was on you, bro. That's Pavelski. Why are you down there with him right exactly, now? Exactly, <laughs> exactly. You know. You know the rules, man. Don't do it. Down goes Heist and Pavelski. Look at this. They still won't. Oh, Hammer Dare, though. Dude, I feel that. That, that, dude, I feel that so much. I feel that so much, dude. If you if you could see like my stat sheet on how many times I've lost to, to a hammer dare. I was, I was gonna say I feel like sad. I just heard I, I felt pain from you on missing out on a rank up from a hammer oh, dare dude. just oh, now dude. and yeah, then. No, my, my community, they know. They know. They know. Oh, hammer ooh, go burn. Wow. That's for sure. And Taros is pulling out the crazy tech right now. TM and Delta still unable to get looking, but I don't know if the health bar goes any darker, Ajax. The I really don't. The spirit of, of Spyrox living on through Pavelski here True. with these gauntlet D6 from uh, Wushang have just been so on point. Oh my goodness, Pavelski. Well, I, please, please, somebody. Pray. Okay, there, there, thank okay. you, thank you. Also, go, thank uh, you. go help Heisen. I know yeah, you. I, I, I know I, you've been, I I know you've been bad, doing bro. fine, but he, Heisen's been over here fighting for his life, just doing everything he can to get away from just all this. Just blasting away with two giant bulls with hammers, just coming at you, reckless swinging. That is That's tough, and that is a. Phenomenal gameplay, though, I've got to say, from Pavelski and Heisen coming into this matchup. Yeah, and the defense, too. They've been dodging around a lot of what, like, Del uh, anytime Delta and TM have had a 2v1 situation lined up, they have missed out on any side six. They've missed out on uh, Axe, uh, no, Hammer and Sig over on the side oh. to get a free gift. But you see it? Doable. Did you see the dare? You see the hammer dare? Bro, it hurts, bro. I'm telling it's so, it's such a good KO confirm option that it's frustrating. If, if you're not playing it, it's frustrating. Oh, no. 2v1 situation oh right here. My TM God. getting blasted into the GCD sig by Pavelski. And, oh, my good. I don't know if I it's possible to even see, like, any type of stat on how long Pavelski stayed alive. Oh, here we go. Okay, look at this. 6, 6, 12. Okay, so somewhere between 6 and 5. So pretty much half the match, Pavelski was on their first stock. Also, there was not a... Uh, the, the accuracy rate of when Pavelski was lining up to follow up on Heisen with the Gauntlet D6, I know we've mentioned this quite a bit, yeah, yeah. but I think the only one that I saw him miss was when he did the slide cancel one off stage and Delta just got around it. Those D6 were hitting like in a lot and they were constantly, not only did they do a great job separating on the first stock to send them both off, which let them get the free 2v1 on Delta, but in the follow-ups to that, Heisen always lined them up for it. It hasn't been Axe at all. It's all been the Blasters mm -hmm. setting them up for it over and over again. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and, you know, these performances that we've seen thus far have just been absolutely dominating from Pavelski with the phenomenal gameplay all around with the Wu-Shang. But, again, what you talked about with Heisen uh, and the ability to just support Pavelski mm -hmm. so well with the Blasters, right? Like, that is just... I mean, it's phenomenal. I mean, it, I don't think there's any word that I can describe how good Heisen's playing right now. Yeah. And I hope everyone is seeing that because it's it's giving Pavelski the freedom to do what exactly. Pavelski does. Exactly. The gauntlets have been putting in that work 100%, like you said. But if you aren't supporting your teammate, making them thrive, it's easy to get into really bad spots when you're staring down double Taros. That's what's been the key to success for them in the previous sets. That's how they derailed the previous set. And in a similar situation, they were down two games in the previous set. Yeah. Is this where things start off for Delta and TM to start to wake up and potentially get themselves back into the set here? Yeah, well, it's going to have to be. <laughs> I, yeah, true. I mean, it's going to have to be. You Story know? could get built up all we want, but yeah, true. Like, you got one more chance. True, <laughs> true. And, you know, I I, I don't I don't like it. I don't like the double tariffs. I, I really don't. Like, I understand why they chose it against uh, Ted and Seven mm -hmm. early on, but... And this is not to the detriment of Ted or Seven, but Pavelski and Heisen are much more experienced players. Yeah, they're also way more mobile with their lineup, too, because exactly. that, that was Orion and Taros. So mm -hmm. you could jump to Taros with your yep. two. Now, they did just get two off the start. This is kind of similar to how we saw it happen before. They got mm -hmm. a two-stock lead, and then they held on to it. But can they keep that lead compared to what they were able to do against Seven and Ted? That's the key factor here. As we see, oh, Pavelski jump right in. Going to try and catch him again goodness. with the recovery, but he just Stop misses. Stop it. I, dude. What? dude I, they're going crazy, yo. Like, these combos are so eccentric. 
And in just the oh no, Pavelski, oh. bad combo, Pavelski, very very bad combo <laughs> right there. I mean, good, technically good, but bad for poor Heisen. Yeah, Heisen, poor Heisen, Heisen, Heisen got scooped right into GC Nsync. Like oh, thank you, I appreciate you. Dude. Luckily, he saved them momentarily <laughs> though. <laughs> huge, huge, huge damage lead currently for the red team, TM and Delta. I guess you were right, Ajax. They're digging deep. They're yeah. digging deep. They're putting their foot in the ground, and they're not going down without a fight. And you know, this could be a bit of a switch up they needed to get back in this matchup. I I don't remember if it was on Shipwreck Cove when they woke up too, because I know the the set finished out on Mammoths, but yeah, it's something about Game Three. It just seems to be working for them as they find another KO off the top. They're ho they they still have a very large lead here because Heisen is just moments away from losing his. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. And Heisen. Oh, exhausting the dodge. Okay, able to make touch, make it back. Pavelski, wonderful support right there with the end sig. Almost confirms the KO. Now, this is the interesting thing, right? If Heisen can stay alive right here, I mean, there is still a very strong mm -hmm. opportunity for this blue team to win this matchup. So I think it's 100% dependent upon can Heisen stay alive here? Okay. And, and Heisen can take it okay. a How are you so good? Game one. This is exactly what happened. They were behind, wow. and Pavelski wow. was able to get to 2v1 at the end. So if they could get enough damage on, this is still doable. But Heisen, if he gets sneezed on, he's gone. Dude. He cannot mm -hmm. get hit once. Man, dude, I, I need hashtag BH Esports. I need a photo cropped of Pavelski and Heisen being two best friends. I need it, because it is just incredible. No, don't tell me Pavelski's going to do it again. OK, big recovery comes out. Still not enough, but the throw all the way from across the map does confirm the KO, Ajax. And we're at 2-1. I'm going to keep it real, man. I'm, I'm, I'm not confident. I'm not mm -hmm. confident in that win at all. I'm really not, because like you look at the end of it, they were both pretty much the dark orange. Yeah. It was tradition at this point, so I've been waiting for one of those deep uh, d downtown passes because every, every single every single stream, it, it, I just tossed the Hail Mary. But that Ooh. one finally came through. He finally got it lined up just right on target to close it out. And right on, right on cue, the party started. They got game number three. They were able to rebound. Then the pre it, it up against seven and Ted, they were looking at a very similar situation. Seven and Ted were getting very rushed down happy. Mm -hmm. Kind of similar to what we saw here. Does it replicate, though? Because, like you said, this is Pavelski and Heisen. They yep. have the history. They have been here before. And we're seeing Pavelski and Heisen pull out all the stops because the Hattori and the Val have showed up. Yep. And they're, uh, I love that they, they counterpicked into Apocalypse. We saw something very similar into, you know, one of our earlier games with the Lance. But now it's going to be... Uh, See, the interesting thing is, like, they're doing this for Heisen to switch on to Hattori. That's why we see Heisen on Hattori now. And it's for the Spear to be able to use Nairs and D-Lights below that. But the thing they did, must have not thought about is Hammer works really, really good with platforms as well. It's pretty much like a free protection of any Sair or Nair that you want to do. And so as we see this here, it's really not changing anything from the damage mm -hmm. output from what we saw in the last game. Oh my God, Heisen having a hard time landing right now. Pavelski is being setting, sent off quite a bit too. Lining up, sitting there for Heisen and then Pavelski Ooh. trying to catch him, but just misses nice. a quick punish. Yup, yup, yup. And the combos are starting to roll out a little bit. They may be two piece combos, but again, that's kind of all you really need with a Taros, yeah. uh, especially when it rotates into a signature Three piece move. combo, you're into the red, so. Mm -hmm. Last mm -hmm. spot you want to be right now. <laughs> I love the validation you're getting <laughs> off of it. Oh, man, no, I mean, yes, it's true. It's so true. I mean, dude, I mean, you, you talk to anybody who first plays Brawlhalla, they'll tell you two things. They'll say, Scarlet, Taros, Orion, why do they beat me so bad? Well, it's because they have very good signatures and they do a lot of damage. All right, well, luckily for the damage that Heisen and Pavelski took in the previous match, it's looking a lot better here so far because they did lose the stocks first. Even though Pavelski has made a trip right into the red as I spoke about it, and it's made a trip off the top of the... Okay, all right, never mind. I am so sorry for talking about the fact that, yo, we're surviving because you disappeared oh, immediately man. after. Pulled a whole Houdini act on, my, on me trying to compliment mm -hmm. you. And, dude, this is starting to get dangerous, man, because they, they don't have a solution. Pavelski and Heisen have no solution whatsoever for the amount of heavy damage that's coming out. And they switched up to this Hattori to hopefully open up more things for team combos. But again, you know, Hattori only has like four defense, right? So Hattori's really good, one of the fast legends in the game. But if you keep getting caught slipping in these signatures, you're going to get eliminated extremely fast. And down goes Pavelski. Oh now it's four goodness. stocks to one stock. This is a dominant game four here. The reverse 3-0 looking like it could have the potential to happen. There is not... 
you, you were talking about the low defense on Hattori. You're at that spot where mm. even if you do get mm. enough damage on, even if you got around that, straight hit anything was going to take you out. And we're going to go to game number five. Do we see a repeat? Do we see another reverse 3-0 on the side of TM and Delta Rain? <sighs> I think so. I think, I think, it's looking I think, like it. <laughs> I think the only chance that that blue team has right now, this is going to sound very crazy, but hear me out. I want to see Pavelski switch to Jay Yun, and then I want to see them move to like a map like Demon Island. I think they need to go heavy against heavy mm. because clearly right now, it's it's not working. It, it, what we have going on right now, especially with the Val into a Tory, it is not working because TM and Delta have found the download and it well, is popping off. It looks uh, actually it was um it was Pavelski who ended up removing uh Shipwreck Falls as well. So that takes away that flat stage you were looking for. So it's only platforms left available. We got Mammoth, we got Great Hall or as Blaze would say, King's Hall. And we're going to go to what Blaze is referred to as King's Hall. Remember to watch that interview. It's very funny. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, it's going to be the same team, but more room. More room to get away from the double Taros. Does it work here? Do they stop the reverse 3 0? Who gets to fight Godly and Swat in, in the elimination bracket semis? We're going to find out because it is on Pavelski and Heiser right now to stop the bleeding. They have been struggling these past two games. Yep. And. I mean, uh, dude, like, all right, I, I like this map. I, I actually really do like this map choice here going into, into Grey Hall. And it, because it's, it's just, there's so much more space, you know? Mm -hmm. So they can get out of these Terrace attacks. But again, I mean, look at Pavelski's health. That's about five hits, maybe. Maybe yeah. six, and Pavelski's already in the in the dark red. Yeah, very similar situation to the previous game. They have they, they have to get the lead first. Like that's the only thing to say because for some reason the red team operates so well to lead because that means you have to approach Taros. And if you have to approach, bad time for you. But they are taking a lot of damage. This is dead even across the board. Oh. The Sarah is going to take out Pavelski oh. though. You know, still still not in too bad of a situation here. Wonderful Ooh. Sarah from Heisen. Nice. GCD Light Sarah from Delta to confirm the KO. And let's see how much extra credit Delta can get. Okay, still still enough. I was about to be like, apparently not enough. Okay, oh. well, apparently not enough. All right, recovery coming in. To, <laughs> exactly, the recovery coming in for Heisen. Purely even right now. I think the wide stage is really helping quite a yeah. bit to avoid a lot of the like the damage they were taking early. So at least they've been able to keep it even, even though they're still getting hit mm -hmm. a lot. Team and Delta are not dropping most of their strengths. Yeah, and they're, I mean, they're doing a really good job. Like, they're doing a very, very good job here. And, you know, for a game five, right, what else would you expect than for it coming absolutely down to the wire here? So, ultimately, I think it's going to come down to who wants it more. Exactly. You know, who wants it more? Who can control the nerves better? Who is able to keep themselves composed? Heisen trying to chase with recovery on the top of the platform. But, it, actually, we're seeing a slowdown a little here from Delta. Ooh, and, ooh that... Okay, that, that would that not have been a crazy. slowdown. Yeah, that that would have been crazy. That would have been a great stock if that connected. Oh, double end light into confirming the KO. TM tried to save Delta with Ooh. the Sarah, but it was too little, too late. And now the stock lead comes out for nobody as it is evened up with that Sarah. Very from even. TM, TM trying to hide and stay on the ground to not get hit by D-Light Recovery. Stop coming through and actually interrupting that D-Light Recovery. Oh. is going to not take it off the top yet. Just avoiding and getting back down to the ground. And oh. Delta hovering around Heisen to make sure they can't 2v1. Oh, dude, I'm nervous. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be I'm so nervous for TM right now because if TM gets the stock eliminated, it opens up, again, that huge opportunity for that 2v1 into Delta. And going against the Tori and Val and 2v1 combos, it's so look at them. Here they go, here they go. Here there they go. it is. They're about to go all in on it. Yep. Rotating into the sky. Pavelski oh. goes for the read, unable to get it. Great evasion from Delta. And just like that, we're right back in it. And likewise, as well as Pavelski avoiding uh getting punished because Pavelski, deep in the red here too, cannot take, get cannot get hit on the side, avoids the stop, but gets sent to the skies, but still not enough. Pavelski goes Pavelski. down Tough. one stock Tough. apiece, Rain. Tough. Yeah, I, dude, ah. if they can just lock in on Delta here, again, right, like the damage deficit that currently the red team's at really doesn't mean anything because mm -hmm. they're playing Taros in about three or four hits. They'll be tied. I mean, look at that. That's three yeah. hits uncontested. And we're about tied up. And the combos are flying, though. Whoa, 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 whoa. already happening? in the orange, but d d both of the red team in the red. Right now, Del Delta and TM cannot afford to make oh. mistakes. They're forcing a lot of 2v1s right now. Delta oh. whipped in front of them, but he doesn't Don't go down. Enough. No way. The no way! Oh, recovery. recovery! Wait, no, not enough either! I no. mean, they're literally all one hit away. Huge G-Sync comes out. Yeah. It's coming Heisen's down to the still wire. still unarmed, too. Heisen is completely unarmed, cannot oh, afford no. the box, but finally gets oh, access no. to the spear. Oh, Weapon no. Tom's coming through! Pavelski no. gets him! No! This no! Is, 
This is still Taros, though. Both oh. of the blue team are will take away. It misses out on the recovery hit. Cider is going to take him out, and they stop the reverse 3-0. They shut down TM and Delta, and it's going to be no. Heisen and Pavelski no. moving forward to take on Godly and Swada. Oh, dude, watch this right here. See that weapon throw from TM is why they just lost that match. Mm -hmm. The weapon throw, Pavelski reacting and then throwing the gauntlet.